This video, we're going to be taking a look at the best five-man pressure blitzing scheme in Madden 24. It comes to us out of the Dollar 3-2. Now, if you want to get my completely revamped and updated Dollar defensive ebook, there's a lot of different ways to run Dollar. We actually have three or four different renditions of the defense on our school.com community page, which is where you'll be able to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and for college football. If you want to sign up, the link's in the description down below. It's only $10 to be a member, and we've got over 17 different offensive and defensive ebooks. The cool part about that is it also uh, updates throughout the year. So we're going to be doing a full year of Madden content, but as well, we're also going to be simultaneously doing a full year of college football content on that site as well. So if you want to sign up for that, again, the link's down below. So what we're going to do to set up kind of this, this little defense, this little five-man pressure scheme, is we are going to put DB Fire 2 in our audibles, and then we're going to be coming out in the free safety zone blitz pretty much every single play. For our coaching adjustments, we're going to have auto flip defensive play call off, auto alignment on base, and then what I typically like to do when I'm running this specific defense is I'll use a 20-yard a 20, a 20 curl flap. So what we're going to do to set up the first rendition of the blitz is we're just going to press, pinch our defensive line, and then if our linebacker goes down, we're going to click on him, and we're just going to move him and then hit circle or B one time depending on the console. From there, we're going to coverage this safety on the right-hand side and then basically shade underneath. This four-man pressure is kind of going to get us started. Oftentimes, that pressure can come through the A-gap depending kind of on how they do their blitz protections. So once we get that kind of going, the next thing I like to do is this five-man blitz where we're going to do everything I just said, but now we're going to blitz the slot corner off of the left side. And what you'll see here is this will pretty much always come right through the A-gap. If you have a good, fast safety in that position or a linebacker, this is going to be a really good way to blitz. So what a lot of people like to do whenever you're running this five-man blitz is they are going to begin to slide, protect, uh, or double team the nose tackle, and then they're going to ID this slot corner. What this is going to do is oftentimes this will be able to pick up the A-gap pressure, as you can see on your screen. So as a defensive play caller, we want to try to find some ways that can look identical. We want all of our defenses to always look the same. So this front right here is going to be our main front for everything we do. So if we wanted to send three out of this, we would just crash our line down, blitz our user, and then from there, with a shade underneath, we could then put that safety on the right in a purple and kind of run a defense that looks like what you see on your screen. The reason that this defense is advantageous to us is due to the fact that it's going to look exactly like our five-man blitz. So they're going to start blocking people, but now we have a maximum coverage defense laid out, and so we have a lot more people in coverage than they have routes running downfield. So that's a good example of how you want to make everything look the same. The cool part about having DB Fire 2 in our audibles is if we audible to it, there's no tell as long as once we audible to it, we press and we pinch our defensive line. What this is going to do is because of the way the primary pass protection is to double team this defensive tackle, oftentimes this will create pressure off of that right side edge, as you can see right there. The other cool part and one of the most underrated elements of this is when people send five out in free safety zone blitz, uh, if they're expecting you to run free safety zone blitz, a lot of times what they're going to do is they're going to double team this defensive tackle. So if we were to audible to DB fire two, pinch and crash up, then what we're going to be able to do on this right side is we can actually zone out that slot corner, put him in whatever coverage we want to, and what you're going to see is you're still going to scream off this left side, only sending four people. So this really manipulates the pass protection system that a lot of people are basing kind of their, their passing plays off of. Now, some of the best coverages for this blitz include just a simple shade down out of a cover four, and then we're going to send five. The reason this is a really good coverage, specifically for Bunch, is because that hook curl, when he's shaded underneath, he's going to do a really good job of stopping any kind of snap throw drags to the solo receiver, any kind of running back Texas routes, streaks, all of that kind of stuff. And then this allows you as a user defender to kind of be able to work over here to the tight end and to also be able to take any corner route in the event that they run, you know, some kind of flood concept. And of course, you're sending significant pressure. One of my favorite coverage shells out of DB Fire is whenever we run DB Fire, we're going to 
uh, basically do what you're going to see here on your screen. We're going to play a cover three to one side, a cover two to the other side. So the way this would work is we would put an outside third or outside quarter on the left-hand side. We're going to put a middle third on the left-hand safety, and then we're going to hard flat this guy in the middle of the field. So he's going to start in the middle of the field, so he will kind of make it a little bit more difficult to be able to throw uh, anything to the middle of the field, but he'll also play that running back flat route, and then I often like to cloud flat. And again, my user's able to kind of stay over here in the middle of the field, uh, which is super helpful for me to be able to take away some of the best routes in the formation. The other really good coverage defense that I super I think is really good is out of DB Fire 2. If we're going to send that four-man pressure, I think this four-man is like grossly underrated. Uh, but what we're going to do with this is we are going to court, uh, outside quarter the right side outside corner we're going to middle third the right side safety and then we are going to hard flat this guy on the right so this is a roll coverage concept super good super effective what makes this effective is oftentimes we're going to get that double team here right so this is going to allow us to put a little bit more emphasis over here to the right hand side of the screen so I want to thank you for watching this video. These are some of the best blitzes in the entire game, and they're going to help you be able to get more stops. If you guys want to get my full uh, renditions, all of my eBooks, everything, it's on our school.com page, school.com slash Cody Bauer. The link to sign up for that is down in the description. For just $10, you can become a much better Madden as well as college football player. Once we drop, once that game drops, we're going to have a ton of eBooks for you to help you become a better Madden player and college football player. You can sign up at the link down in the the description below.